Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are in another space flight simulator, and I've changed the rocket since you've last seen it. I've added another stage with two new rocket engines that we've never used before, and I've added some landing legs and some RCS thrusters up in the capsule part. So I'm just going to go through the stages really quickly, even when they still have fuel. So I've configured them, if, even if they have fuel, they'll turn off when I stage them. So let's just get up in the air. Okay, so first stage, go! Side boosters fall off. Second stage, go! The, this engine automatically starts. It's a lot quieter. It's a high efficient, low thrust engine, but it still gets us where we're going. And the next engine, next, well actually next engines. Now I was planning to land on something surface with these landing legs also. So if I press enter again, the next stage will open these landing legs and also extend them, which is pretty handy. But I'm just gonna start spinning and spinning cause why not? Oh, it's lagging a bit. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, oh, the landing legs saved me from completely just dying. Well, before I started recording this video, I actually was able to get to the moon and get an orbit. I tried earlier to, I got to the moon and tried to land on it. I did land on it, but it was sideways and it just kind of blew up. But then I kind of blew up, but then I was still able to take off. But I couldn't, I wasn't able to get back to Earth. If I could, I didn't have enough fuel to do it. But we're going to try to get to Venus this time. So we just need to take off, get into orbit, normal routine. And this thing in the bottom, like to the right of the throttle velocity and height, is actually the thing to help you get into orbit. I just didn't know that in the last video. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be using now. Turn. Now we've reached 1,000 meters in the sky. Ta -da! Okay. Now we are at 2,500 meters in the sky. 3,000 meters. And we are at 5,000 meters. Uh... I, I forgot I can speed up time, so let me just do that. I'm not going to listen to the game's orbit helpy thingery. Thingery. And I'm going to do this my way. My way. My way. So we're going to get above 30 kilometers. So we are able to time warp. Time warp. Now boost, boost, boost like you've never before. Boost, boost, boost. Row, row, row your boat. Like you've never be full. Ah, no. Okay, we're about to stage these. Stage, okay. And we're about to stage again because the middle booster is also the second stage. So we, and they run, the first and the second stage run at the same time. But the middle, the second stage has more fuel. So, oh. Okay. We're using a lot of fuel just to get into orbit. Come on. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, I have to use a bit of the other stage. Reach low Earth orbit. Whew, I hope we have enough fuel to accelerate enough to get us to Venus. Okay, navigate. Oh, yeah, two pieces. I've actually tried to get to Venus one time already while I wasn't recording. And I had to stage while I was going, so there's space junk over there. Now we need to locate back to Earth so we c I can try to... Okay, where's the transfer window? Uh, game, you should have a transfer window. Also, yes, I watched Space Chips video. I was like, where's the captured asteroid? I don't see it. Well, it's right here. It's a very tiny little dot. There it is, captured asteroid. And we're not going to it right now, sadly. But we are going to i'm navigating to venus right oh yeah right i have to wait until the earth gets to the the, the correct the good the best spot for me to take off in my rocket and if you want me to make another minecraft video with another dragon mod yes i found another dragon mod wow surprising and if you want me to play it comment 
comment down below. Not many people watch other videos than the Universe Sandbox, but if you're watching, thank you very much. And if you could come, if you want me to um, play the Minecraft video with the dra new Dragon Mod, I will play it. Just comment down below and also like and subscribe. Okay, now all, uh, all of that. After all of that advertising, we ha the Earth is finally in its right f position. And where did I just put the camera? Oh, there we go. And time warp there. Time warp. Time. Time warp. Time warp. Okay. RCS. RCA, yeah. So I try after going to the moon and for realizing I didn't get, I forgot RCS, and that I ran out of fuel. I added more fuel and I added some RCS to this thing. What does RCS stand for? I have no clue at all. This is gonna take a bit. Accelerate enough so we can get to Venus. Uh oh. Uh oh. Revert thirty seconds because I went too fast. RCS. Burst. I said burst. <laughs> Boost. Oh, the way. Oh, the way to the moon. We go. Well, we're going to Venus, actually. Never mind. And the orbit is growing. It's growing up high. Now we're going to slow down time. Speed it up again because it's too slow. Now I'm just going to precisely get this like, like on zero. Yeah, we did it. Okay, we're going to Venus. Yeah, boy. Woohoo! Time warp to the encounter, and we're catching up with Venus. You're probably thinking, "Oh, Venus is gonna speed by us," but we're catching up. Okay, use RCS to enhance our encounter. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh god, I keep turning too much. Why did the engine start heating up? We're not, our goal is not to get to Venus and back. It's to get to ju just to get to Venus. And maybe also land safely on it. If, if we can, I hope we can. Hmm, when I collide with the atmosphere, it might slow us down enough. But then we might just fly back off into deep, deep space. Deep, deep space. So we're going to accelerate a bit more to just completely go into the surface. Enter the fear influence of Venus. And sadly, I can't use the landing legs on things with an atmosphere because they'll just burn up if I try. They'll just burn up in the atmosphere if I try. Entering Venus upper atmosphere. Stage! 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 Right, I didn't... Oh, oh gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. No, you've got to be... <laughs> I forgot. Uh, I gotta put this on a st another stage. Now it's a five-stage rocket. Cool. Another stage doesn't make it. I don't know how it makes it in cooler, but it just I don't know. Okay. Now we are almost there. Uh. Uh. Yes. <laughs> Woo! And Spaceship had a bit of problem entering Venus's atmosphere. I don't know why, but I hope this is good. Oh, the heat shield has, like, when this bar fills up, I imagine it's going to be just exploded. Like, a heat shield can take the, some heat, but not a bunch. Venus's atmosphere has slowed us down a lot, just because it's so much thicker than Earth. Can we navigate to the sun? <gasps> you can navigate to the sun. Oh my gosh. Now I want to just try to go to the sun. Increase the speed. Okay, now. Oh, Venus's atmosphere is so yellow. Eh, and another stage to activate the parachute again. Because if you activate it once, parachute is half deployed. Then if you activate it again, when you're above, below 500 meters on Earth, not normal mode, you can f fully deploy it. So we're just waiting, 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 waiting. There's Venus's clouds. Parachute half deployed. 
then it's going to automatically fully deploy, but if I had the choice, I would wait a bit. It might automatically. Yeah, it's going to automatically deploy. Okay. Well, we got to Venus, and that was pretty easy. As Spaceship said, this is not a zigzag voice, but this is just recreation. Trying to get to Venus is easy, but getting back is the hard part. S and yeah, we don't have any fuel to like, we can't save like the thing, the space pod. And like, it doesn't have any heat shield to protect it. I don't know how to do, give it heat shields. The parachute is not working well, game, cause I'm still sliding down this giant hill. Hey, well. P cut the parachute. Just forget it. Ooh, we're sledding down. Wee -hee! Oh my gosh, we're going fast. Wee! -hee! Oh no, I tipped over. Crashed into the surface of Venus. Aw. Wee! Here we go. Hey, Venus landing challenge completed. I can't recover it. Build new rocket. Do 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 do. Down. Ding, 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 ding. Don't deactivate that rocket. I'm going to reconfigure the stages. Eh, uh, okay. Don't deactivate them. Here we go. Blast off. So now they should keep going. Pew! They're shooting off. <laughs> there they go. Hawk engine heating. Oh, yeah, it heated up the thing because the, those two, the side thrusters. The side boosters had rockets on them, and they were pointed towards the um, the main rocket, which heated it up. And boom. Oh, it just burned the bottom rocket. Eh. <laughs> okay. Whew. Okay, now let's try to get to the sun. Now, we do revert to launch. Revert to lunch. I always love lunch. Okay, navigate to, okay, now we're going to have to try to get in orbit of Earth. The stages are back to normal because I didn't actually save the changes. To save the changes, I would have to be in build mode and then change the stages configuration. But that's something I didn't do. Okay, we are blasting off once again. I'm going to clear debris. No, I'm not going to clear debris. I'm gonna have, um, all the, I'm never gonna clear the debris in this world. This, um, yeah, this world in-game. As we, as I make more videos on this game, if I do. And as I play it, just, like, not recording. If I put, when I play it at all, there will be more junk, because I separate the rocket. And I'm not gonna clear the junk, I'm gonna see if it piles up and eventually collides and explodes itself. That'll be awesome. Explosion! Explosion! Yeah! This just barely, barely will get us to space. Uh! Side thrusters are about to run out, Chief. Side boosters, detach! Let's go! Okay, middle booster's about to run out. Middle booster! Detach! This engine seems to use more fuel than normal. Oh, yeah, because it doesn't. Ha it has, like, little fuel. I'm going to. I'm going to change that. Hold on, Blazes. Well, I reconfigure this rocket to be even better and rockety. Rockety? Crookety? R rockety? Whatever. Okay. So, we need to. Okay, I don't know why I said we. I need to move this. The whole top of the rock. No! No! <laughs> no! I didn't save the rocket when I put the landing legs. Oh, I gotta do this all over again. <sighs> oh, come on, game. Why do you have to do this to me? It's so cruel. Oh, come on. G g game, I didn't tell you to bring the fuel tank up there, but I'll take it. <clears throat> oh my. You know what? You know what? Symmetry on. RCS thruster. Go! Go! Pew pew pew! Pew pew pew! Okay. So we've got RCS back on. Then we need to put the little thrusters on. But 
then enough cemetery get rid of that rocket if we go into engines it'll show all the engines because it can't show all the engines in the normal the basics tab well i guess it's the basic engines in the basics tab so i need to go to basics what there we go and now we're going to try to give this thing more fuel okay now there we go ah uh, that will do okay now we're done it triggers that second day stage will do that and also do that and the third stage which is no longer doing that we'll do that 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 and we'll also do that okay there we go and the fourth stage we'll do that and the fifth stage if i have trouble reaching the rocket i mean the rocket's parachute if it's spinning out of control and i can't click on it i can just press enter to open the parachute and that will actually stop the spinning motion let me put the fourth the fifth stage to i need the fifth stage to activate the landers and this stage no actually forget the parachute stage boom does the staging work correctly Boom! Stage. Yes, yeah, still works great. Stage again. Works great. Stage again. Works also great. Stage again. Okay, there's something I gotta work out. But when I do that, I just gotta activate those two engines to turn them off if they're on. Okay, Blazers, now is the time. Now is the time we strike. I'm kidding. I did, that just sounded epic to say, so I said it. But we're not going to strike anything. We're just going to very calmly and gently arrive. Try to launch the rocket at the sun. A burning core of awesomeness and flames. Okay, so we're going to try to make it orbit it. Orbit. Orbit. No! We need to get into orbit! Come on, Rocket, you can do it! Now that the... S whatever stage it was, has more fuel, I'm pretty sure it has more fuel, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So that whole stage should be able to get us into orbit. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Boost! <coughs> Game, I said boost. There we go. There we go. We're going. We're going. We're go go win. Oh right, stage. And this stage is about to run out. Stage. Woo! We're going. This is gonna get us to orbit totally now. This should be just enough to get us to orbit. Okay. Yeah. But I need to change the orbit, cause no, 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 no! This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Boost upwards, upwards, upwards. Yes. Okay. Finally, we're leaving the atmosphere and reaching space. Okay. I need. What I need to do is time warp there, so I can change the orbit. I don't know which way I'm supposed to be facing, but I'm just gonna try both ways. I think it's this way. To grow that side? No, it's not! Oh, uh -huh, no, I actually shrunk the orbit over there. So I'm pretty sure if I don't grow the orbit soon, it's not going to be in orbit. It's going to crash me straight into the surface. And what, for this, I'm just going to try to get to high Earth orbit. And then I'll just return safely. Game. Can you tell me I've reached high Earth orbit? Because this is a pretty high orbit. And this is orbit. I'm in orbit of Earth. So it's a, uh, it's a high Earth orbit. Game, pretty please. High Earth orbit. Give me that achievement. Yeah. So now, it won't actually let us navigate to the sun for some reason. It's not telling me what I need to do to get there. Now I just need to burn the re retrograde, aka the opposite direction. Why is my rocket heating up? Whee! Turn all the way around. Boom. 
Now we're going to burn retrograde, which is, I'm pretty sure, the term for the opposite way of where, where you're previously going. And i got to end this video because it says it's 27 minutes, but that's before I actually edit it. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, boys, we're almost there. Just keep shrinking a bit more. There. Now we'll time warp there. Well, if you time warp under the atmosphere, I mean, not under the atmosphere, into the atmosphere, it will stop time warping when Im immediately when you hit the atmosphere. Maybe I can slow down. Maybe the engines can take, like, all the heat. Or not. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, no! It's gonna burn up! Uh-oh. No liquid fuel source? Come on. Oh, great. Now I can't even use the landing legs. I was planning to land using the landing legs. Okay, just break off. Separ no! No! That thing hit me! When a, the, a piece of rocket debris hit me, and... Yeah, no, my capsule's about to break. I was trying to put the heat on the parachute. Ah! The One of the rocket debris from it burning up, like it... It hit the heat shield and broke it, so I was vulnerable to the heat. And that just eventually burned my capsule, which was not good. It was not good. And and the astronaut that was in there, Neil Blazer Strong, what is sadly died. But this time we have him. We re, we reverse time by 30 seconds so neil blazer strong is safe once again okay yeah. uh. okay should be fine to start turning now yeah 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 swing it all the way around oh that is a horrible idea i just ruined it because i turned around okay blazers we're gonna wait for this burning state to stop to stop to stop happening okay thank you guys for watching i'm kidding we're gonna end it when we actually land safely so you boys can not wonder did he land safely did he burn up and crash into the surface and so you guys will know that we made it safely down to the surface i'm saying this before it actually happens but i hope that happens <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god. Enter Earth lower atmosphere. That means it's cooling down. Yay! Detach the heat shield, because that is a feature I, j I learned. Because I was like, oh, det it's detachable. Like, I hovered over it accidentally. It was like, oh, it was like separation force. And then I knew, I was like, separation force? It detaches? So that's how I knew. And I also detached it once on accident. So that's how I know you can detach it. And I'm about to fall back to the surface. I'm just, it's going to be painful, at least for my rocket, if I don't do anything. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm kidding. I'm going to do something. <gasps> God, man, I <laughs> waited too long. Hurry up, game. Stop with this burning state. Boom. Detach it. Whee! It just flew straight off. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, I come boom, 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 boom to the surface. I'm coming to the surface. Yeah, and I'm gonna open the parachute so I don't crash into the surface again because that would not be good at all. Boom. Hey, okay, after a cup seconds we will be back on the surface and we will have landed safely and i'm going to check if i uh, you know i should get the high orbit achievement because i got into high or no more new challenges space center challenges i've already got all the challenges for earth including the higher earth orbit yep okay get the low earth orbit then land safely it's a hard mission well, I did that. Hey, <laughs> hey, I take that game. Reach high Earth orbit is also a hard mission. And then return safely is also a hard mission. Well, take that game. I did that too. Venus landing. Descend through the thick atmosphere and land on the surface of Venus. Medium? Medium? What do you mean? That was extreme, man. Venus return. Land on the surface of Venus, then ascend 
through the thick atmosphere and return safely. Extreme. How dare you call the mission I didn't do extreme, Mars. Land on the surface of Mars and return safely. Land on Mars, Phobos, and Deimos in one flight, then return safely. Hard. That's hard? That's extreme, man! Okay, well, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. But wait, this video I'm gonna do for my food suggestion. Yay, the awesome food suggestion is back! Eat some crackers with some jam, some jam and some jello. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.